What's up guys? I'm back like I never left and before I start this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and click that bell ding for post notifications So you guys get notified every single time I upload. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Look at my YouTube space Fill in the palm tree and I got the little plants and the little wine and the little Prada up there You guys are about to see me film all the time just to be in this area because it's so cute So this video is going to be me updating you guys on how I take care of my pretty little thing down there and make sure it's all nice and clean I did a family and hygiene video a couple months ago i'll leave it in the description box below so you guys can check that out and since then a lot has changed in my routine and in today's video i want to share with you guys what i have found that is literally life-saving like if you are a woman if you have a JJ, you need to watch this video i shit you not you guys know from once i find something i have to put you guys on so in this video i'm not only going to share with you the cure to all vaginal problems i'm also going to go into detail about feminine health how to properly take care of your coochie and things you can do if you do experience any sort of issues down there I'm really excited about this video because I have discovered a product that literally covers everything I have just mentioned and that is boric acid boric acid yeah. I swear by this guys like when I tell you I wish I found this stuff sooner boric acid has literally changed my life so there are many different types of boric acid supplements or boric acid suppositories I personally love swear by and use religiously Nutriblast boric acid and it's called boric life and these are suppositories what it does it helps you keep your pH level balanced and it's so important to keep a healthy pH balance in your coochie because when you're is too alkaline you are more susceptible to infection those things cause odor and itchiness and just overall being uncomfortable so when you're using a suppository such as boric acid which is also called hydrogen borate is a weak acid that's been used for many many years as an antiseptic the compound that's in boric acid is found in volcanic areas in Europe and have been used for many many years back to the ancient Greeks so there are so many things we do just on a day-to-day -day life that can and throw off our pH balance. Actions like douching, which is terrible for your vagina. I said this in my last video, douching is so bad for you. Nearly all doctors and gynecologists recommend that women don't douche. Your coochie essentially houses a very delicate balance of vaginal flora, which are basically organisms that live in the vagina. A balance of good and bad bacteria helps maintain an acidic environment for a healthy cooch. And any disruptions to that can lead to serious infections like bacteria vaginosis and yeast infections. Did you know? Did you know that the vagina actually cleans itself? It's a self-cleaning body part and it basically cleans itself by making mucus. The mucus washes away blood, semen. Point of the matter is don't douche. It's not good for you. What is vaginal pH, you ask? pH is a measurement of how acidic or alkaline a substance is so in this case we're talking about the cooch cooch the pH scale runs from 0 to 14 and whether your vagina is acidic or basic plays a very important role on how healthy it is did you know that I know you didn't know that now you know it so a normal pH level is between 3.8 to 4.5 which is moderately acidic a high level of pH is above 4.5 why does pH matter you ask an acidic area for the coochie is protected it creates like a barrier that prevents unhealthy bacteria from multiplying too quickly and causing an infection. When you have a high pH balance level, 4.5 and above, your vagina is at high risk for infection. Let's talk about the infections real quick that you could have if you experience any of these issues. Bacterial vaginosis. What is bacterial vaginosis? Bacterial vaginosis or BV is too much bacteria that has been grown and trapped inside your this causes fishy smells, yellow gray discharge, and it can often result into burning and severe itching, which is not fun. Oh my god, fun little fact. I said burning vagina and then instantly a memory popped in my head is when I was 13 years old, I was like cutting up my grandpa's salad. My grandpa loved scotch bonnet pepper, like you know like the big actual pepper. He wanted me to cut it up and put it in his salad. I don't know how he was eating that. After I gave him his salad, I must have touched my cooch before I washed my hands and my it was burning, it was burning, like it was on 
fire. I just wanted to cut the whole thing off. Like that's how much it was burning. I was like sitting in the tub, like under cold water. I was sweating and it did, the burning sensation didn't go away for a whole 45 minutes. Sorry, little story, let's get back to the video. Back to bacterial vaginosis. It's not necessarily harmful by itself, aside from it being super uncomfortable. No one wants to itch or burn. Women who have untreated bacterial vaginosis have an increased risk for more serious infections. I had a bacterial vaginosis once and it was literally the worst. And I remember I was about 17, I was in high school and I went to a Catholic school so I had to wear a uniform. It was 11th grade, I was in English class and I ran to the bathroom because for some reason my, my coochie was just itching me. Like I was just scratching and scratching and scratching and scratching. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if it was a yeast infection. Later down the line found out that it was bacterial vaginosis. I took antibiotics. I wish I knew about boric acid back then because this stuff really is a life changer. I swear to God. Are supposed to have a mild, you know, personal scent. It's not supposed to smell bad, but if somebody tries to say that their smells like cookies and cream and peaches and roses, they lying. And if it actually does smell like that, they sprayed something on it. Cause coochies are supposed to smell like nothing. I pop it in there and it dissolves. And literally the next morning, scentless. No scent, no nothing, no nothing. Like, you know the commercials with the girls who wear the deodorant and their hands are just up in the air like, ooh, I'm so confident, I smell good. That's how I feel with my coochie with boric acid, okay? Nutriblast, I don't care, it changes life. What throws off your pH balance, you might ask? Soaps, scented soaps, soaps with dyes, your period, wet clothing, douching, tight clothing, semen, not peeing after intercourse, all of those things set off your pH balance you see those things on like tumblr and like twitter of like people putting whipped cream and strawberries down there and all i keep thinking about is when i look at that that is just a full yeast infection waiting to arise like i said in my previous video i do not use any sort of scented soaps i've been using any sort of natural soap so like carbolic soap oatmeal soap if by chance i run out of the soap and i'm not able to get it a great alternative for natural soaps are baby soaps work amazing that's what I use as an alternative I also mentioned this in my last video and I'm gonna say it again for the people in the back that didn't hear me women women are you listening do you hear me stop letting every dude you smash let their stuff out in you that will throw you off so much because now you have his chemicals up in you mixing with your chemicals and it's just we doing a party in there and what if your chemicals don't like his chemicals and boom Infection. Not to mention, these dudes are not worth your vaginal comfort. I'm sorry, because I don't know about you guys, but for me, when I do get UTI, I'll be on the toilet, like, trying to push out my intestines because that's how much I'm in pain. I hate that stuff. I'm not letting no dude do that to me. So sorry, especially if you're not my man, period. Antibiotics are great at getting rid of bacteria, nevertheless. Well, unfortunately, pretty little girls down there have good bacteria that also help with the overall health of your coochie and antibiotics kill those as well so now your cooch is just super susceptible to literally everything you might as well have a sign saying bacteria come and get me that's why a suppository such as Nutriblast suppositories just kill off the bad bacteria and saves all the good bacteria you also want to ensure that you are drinking a lot of water water is your best friend personally I love water I have two jugs of water in my fridge with lemon and cucumber in it and I drink it religiously throughout the day. Water helps flush out your banana and just overall keeps you hydrated, keeps your skin glowing, and it keeps everything down there regulated. The foods you eat are very important, a healthy coochie. You need to ingest lots of probiotics, such as yogurts. Sweet potatoes are filled with so many vitamins that help with fertility in both men and women. So if you're trying to have a baby, just eat lots of sweet potatoes. You know when people say like, oh, if you have a yeast infection or if you have a UTI, just eat cranberries or drink cranberry juice. It's because cranberries also have a powerful acidic compound that fights bacteria. It contains a lot of antioxidants, it boosts your immune system, it has lots of vitamin E. Overall, it's just really good for your reproductive system. Did you know that apples actually improve your sex life? I recently found that out and I'm like, I need to share that with you guys. You guys be having that good, good. Just eat those apples. An apple a day keeps your man's in your bed. Avocado is really good for your uterus walls and if you find your coochie being super dry 
You should try eating kale, leafy greens. They keep the coochie wet, wet like water. I would recommend before getting it down with your men, don't eat food that make your pee smell. Skip processed foods, things with trans fat. I'm very guilty of eating a whole pizza then getting it down. Are you dumb? I keep my coochie healthy all the way because I have my Nutriblast Boric Acid. Repositories also come with feminine pH strips. If you're not feeling all the way 100 down there, you can test your pH balance and see where you are in the scale. Pop in a Nutriblast suppository and catch an infection before it starts. That's why I love it. This is prevention. Prevention and cure. Now, there are many different types of companies that sell boric acid, but I personally use this one. You could purchase it on Amazon and you'll see so many great reviews to back up what I'm saying. I would definitely recommend for you to look into it. I will leave a link in the description description box below as well as a coupon code so you guys can also get a discount so let me just explain to you guys a little more in depth on how this works so if you are currently having a yeast infection or if currently don't smell the greatest down there or if you're experiencing any sort of itchiness or burning so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna take one suppository and you want to take it before you go to bed for seven consecutive days so seven straight days if you're using this for a preventative measure you can use this every eight weeks just to make sure that everything is bombdiggity.com down there to ensure that you don't get a yeast infection or you don't get BV or just to keep yourself feeling nice and clean and fresh all the time. But like I mentioned earlier, if you do have a yeast infection or if you think you have BV or if you know you have BV, you want to use this for seven consecutive days to ensure that everything is gone. I feel like a lot of women don't share the things that they use for I don't know what reason. Like we could all be cute together. You don't have to hide your secret sis. That's why I share um, the things that I do, I share the doctor I went to, I share my surgery, I share everything because why can't we all just be equal? Damn, I feel like women are forever trying to one up each other, you know? And it's like, nah, sis, we're in two different lanes. Your success doesn't bug me. My success shouldn't bug you. Some girls, they don't tell people where they get their clothes or what they do is always secret, secret, secret. And it's like, I'm here for the sharing. And that's why I want to come on here and share this with you guys um, to let you guys know what has been working for me. I put all my friends on. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sirachi. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat at Shut Up Brandy. TikTok at Sirachi. I'll leave all my socials in the description box below. Oh my goodness, guys, guess what? Now that I have this new setup, I am going to be doing mukbangs because I love to chat and I love to eat, so why not do both? I'm really excited to start my mukbangs with you guys. Don't forget to comment down below to tell me if you tried the boric acid or how it helped you what your opinions are on it i love reading your guys comments i love interacting with you guys if you guys have a question the best way to get me is on snapchat because my snapchat isn't as hectic as my instagram so if you do have a question i would highly recommend you snap it to me thanks for watching this video i can't wait to see you guys in the next one peace out